show guys what is up it's teach here coming at you again with another video and oh my goodness i have found some base locations you can see these little purple zones here because they are spaces that you cannot build a base or build anything in general because they're mission zones but that being said i am going to show you some of the craziest base locations that i have found starting with this one now no as of right now you cannot have flyers so let me show you how you do this now I use the grappling hook, that's the easiest way in my opinion, and uh, you just literally climb this stuff with a grappling hook. <clears throat> now the benefit is you can pretty much spawn and like transfer yourself to any biome at any point in time. You don't get to control where you go in that biome, which is kind of unfortunate, but you can climb pretty much all of these structures with a grappling hook. Now a lot of bases are going to be up here and they are going to be very unprotected. <clears throat> so if you want to get some like good rating in, now is the time that people just forget about these grappling hooks. So you can climb up here. Now that is how you climb the mountains that I'm about to show you. But I'm going to show you real quick some of these mountains that are just like insanely overpowered. So first off, look how high up this thing. If there are no flyers and it continues to be that way, even though I see Pelagorn is here, they are not capable of being ridden at this moment in time. This base spot up here has, first off, starter wise, you've got metal, wood, stone, thatch, fiber, everything you need. And you can like transfer to other biomes in order to actually, you know, get what you need. And then you can also use the store to buy things as well, which is pretty OP in my opinion. Now people will be able to get up here as well once they start to figure out how to, but um, it, it's really OP. This kind of spot is my kind of like number one tiered location because there are gonna be so many huge bases on top of these pillars, especially if there's no flyers. I mean, think about it. You're basically playing on a map where you have to either climb up the side or somehow coast with rock drakes, or rock drakes have become infinitely valuable now. And it's just crazy. So this one's coordinates, just so you can see, 24.1, 46.1, and it's just, you know, a just crazy location. Um, now, pretty much every island you see here is going, I mean, I'm gonna show you a couple that I prefer like this one here. Let me explain to you why. Um, so the world border is right here behind this guy. So you only have to defend yourself from one side. And that's just insane to me. So, and it's pretty flat, pretty good sized space, only a few different ways to possibly get to you. And it's just, it, I can't even explain. Like some of these, these are just like dream base locations. And I really hope that some people take them over. I don't want like big tribes taking these over because They'll just run the server if they manage to take some of these bigger ones, like especially this one in the back. This thing is huge, and there's only a couple different ways up the side, so I just find that to be super OP. Now, you got these really tall ones, and again, this guy is uh, its going to be an awful base, I'll tell you that much, because it's going to be impossible to get up to you. That's pretty crazy if you think about it. And uh, using the store, you can buy pretty much everything you need to build turrets, too, so it, there are some crazy, 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 crazy spots you can have. So, that being said, pretty much the entire middle section of this map is just impossible to build on because of all that purple stuff. But, there is a secret base location that I'm going to show you right now. And a lot of people forget about it because it kind of looks like this down here. A lot of people don't even know what this is because they saw it from above and they're like, excuse me, what do you mean? So, down here, what you can do... Yeah, these guys are going to attack me, lovely. But, through this... Hello, you can drop inside of an area that does not have any water in it, which is a little bit crazy. Now, red is something you're not supposed to be traveling through. Blue, however, is a friendly travel zone, and you can travel through these things and actually have it so water does not exist anymore. Now, I think this one's going to be a crazy base spot. I'm not going to lie to you about that. Because if you can get a couple of people, I mean, there's the only, well, first off, there's oil rocks right here. So that's pretty crazy. Um, only rateable from a few different tiny ways, like this right here. What do you, how are you gonna rate? Like if you put a base right back in this thing, right here, it's a great little hidden base. No one's gonna find you forever. It's crazy. So spot of this one, 25.2, 44.9. And again, this coastal region is just insane for some base locations because you've got these tiny little crouch holes that you can hide in and no one is ever going to see you there. Which is just nuts, in my opinion. You've got instant access to oil, which is quite nice right here. You're on sand. 
And there's just some crazy, crazy stuff here, which is pretty cool, obviously. And uh, I just think this is, they came up with some, wait a minute, is that blocked? Oh, that's interesting. Um, but there are some, so if that's blocked too, oh my goodness, this is actually going to be an alpha base spot. Huh. Only got two ways in and you have to jump in from water to non-water. This is insane. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. So this is going to be an awesome spot right there. That's definitely going to be more of an alpha base location though, because, well, obviously it's something that is a little bit harder to get to in my opinion. Let me change the time right here. What's my last command? There we go. Perfect. So anyways, what you can also do is there is an underground base location. So what you want to do is you want to get to the point that I am currently at right now. And that point is basically, I say it by looking at this giant structure right here. It's the only one that has this kind of shape to it. To give you the coordinates though, 21.3, 48.1, and you're just going to go down. Now, the reason that you're going to go down into this thing is because underneath this bad boy, there is kind of like a deep underground cavern location. First off, you can see the whirlpool right there. I don't know if you see that, but that's insane. Dunkleosteus live all over the place down here. Now, what is the whirlpool? Now, the whirlpool is something you don't really have a choice in. You're just going down to the bottom, obviously, and wherever this guy takes you. So fortunately, I have a escape route. Maybe I don't. There we go. I'm out. I'm out. Come on now. What the heck? Where am I? There we go. I'm out of it. So don't go into the whirlpool. You'll end up in trouble. But we're back in that same spot. So just go straight down. You can see that whirlpool up there. Be very careful of it. It just sucks you down to the bottom. And if you keep going down, what you're going to notice is that exact same spot that I told you, you can go really, really far down. You need a scuba you can't use tech down here, which is kind of nice. Um, that whirlpool is still going over there. I don't like that. Okay. Is it stopped? I think so. Okay. So if you go down to the bottom, there are a whole bunch of locations down here. And I'm trying to go nice and slow so you can kind of like track where I am right now. And I'll give you the cords again. So if you just swim around, I'm at 1646 now. And uh, <clears throat> notice how I'm deep, 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 deep in the ocean. Now down here, you're going to find a whole bunch of little zones. You could put some awesome bases, but this isn't even what I'm talking about. So the base location that I am talking about is this one. So obviously there's a Mose out front, so it's not exactly going to be the easiest thing to get to. But <clears throat> if you can get here, my goodness, this is going to be a base location of epicness. So I'm going to go ahead and back up here. Okay, Moza, my dude, come on now. Okay, mode this. Boom, look at that. That's so pretty. So it's another one of those gates. I'm going to go ahead and like drop into it. So there's an up high zone up here. You can't land on this super easily unless you know where you're going in here and you kind of like super speed in. But this is like the aberrant zone, which is kind of crazy. You can build some just stupid, stupid bases. Like look at this up here. There is no way to get to you. This is technically water behind this. And... You've got like a little ledge that you can be up on top of, which is just insane. Especially because the only way to get to you would be climbing picks and grappling hooks because there's no flyers. It'd be very hard to raid you up on this little ledge. So this is like the underground zone, 20.7, 48.8, just so you can see. And if you keep going down in this thing, there are just a ridiculous amount of locations in here. And I'm not, I know I'm going really fast, so I apologize, but there are so, so very many good spots. There is only that way in and that way out. So if you had, like, I mean, there is no other way into this base. So if you put a couple of turret towers right here, please explain to me who is going to get to you because I can't think of anybody, which is just nuts. So, okay, careful there. Don't want to get stuck in that thing. So you can run around down here. Um... And it goes down to the bottom. There are blue gems, red gems, green gems. There's a little lake down in here. I have yet to... I, I've explored this area for probably like 45 minutes. Um, it's a huge underground little oasis. And there are so many nooks and crannies down here. There is no way one, ba one, one tribe could totally fill out this entire section. It's just gigantic. So just to show you a comparison. This is kind of like the center of it. You can see that... Well, it's kind of like the aberration underground. 
and uh, this area is OP. You can build up high, you can build down low. There are tons of little tunnels down in here. So if you just continue to move around down in this zone, I'll hold out my uh, this right here, little GPS, so you can see where I am constantly down here. But look at this. Like this little corner back in here, there's a good little base location. You'd be rateable by raft, unfortunately. If you can build down here, I haven't tested that yet, so I probably should. Oh yeah, you can build down here. Okay, just making sure. Now back up in here, it's obstructed, but if you can find the floor, boom. You can build in this entire zone, and there are so many little nooks. And look, look at this. This is insane. 21.8. 51.2 back in this zone it's like it's a hidden elongated tube that ends in a wall and the only way in is where we came from and you can build back in here so you want to talk about some of the most overpowering base locations yeah this this is where you want to go because this is just a crazy 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 spot so look at this i mean you, you could have a choke point of this big Oh man, this is this is going to be nuts. There are going to be some huge bases on Genesis. Like enormous PvP bases, PvE bases. And they are going to be awesome. I'm super excited to see some of the designs people come up with. Because that's like one of my favorite parts where you're just like, how did you even think of that, my dude? Alright, so this is like the underground zone. There aren't really resources down here, which is kind of a negative, obviously. But like you can have so many little tucked away hidden bases that no one's going to find you for quite a while. And as long as you have a way to get back to your base, you've got a pretty good little location. And you can teleport out to other zones to get like, uh, if you need resources and stuff like that, you can actually teleport out and get yourself a whole bunch of stuff. Now, this is also where you're going to have to come to get green, blue, and red gems, as far as I'm aware. I don't know of any other places. So you might get in trouble for that because people are going to try and get to you. They probably don't want to go to Aberration back and forth, so that's that. But as soon as you go out here, you're like, okay, cool. I'm in a huge underground cavern of death, and you're good to go. So this is going to be a massive base location, so we'll see who actually ends up building it on some official servers. I guarantee you there's some huge tribes taking this entire thing, but... On smaller servers, you're probably going to get six or seven different tribes that share this. So, anyways, excited to see what people do with this, but this just monstrosity of an underground cave is just awesome. So, anyways, hopefully this video helps you out and teach.